good one. Whew. Last night was rough, but good. Got some downloads. <laughs> it was kind of what I was thinking. It was a little different. Uh, whew. First, the first thing I'd like to say, thank you for scrapping for your your generosity and wanting to give me some money for gas. I appreciate that. Really. I'm big on energy exchange, and I understand, you know, not really knowing people, it's hard to, you want, like I said, right now in my power, I have to keep it equal. I can't be drained, because even when I, it's, it's hard to explain, but when you accept things from people without an equal exchange in return, it drains your energy. It's hard to explain. It's, it's something esoteric. I'm still learning all my, I'm still learning my gifts, I'm still learning my power. But I do appreciate that, and I'll explain why I had to decline that offer in a minute. But first, let me talk about um, manifestations, um, your power, your abilities. Um, like, for the longest time, I didn't understand my abilities. and But I would use them in my normal life to, to, it's like to smooth the path in front of me. Like... If I was planning on a weekend with my friends, we're going to go off and do something. And I knew where we we're going to go. And I knew what we we're going to do, what we we're going to drive in and all that stuff. I would literally psychically map ahead. I would I would visualize the day before we'd have it. This, the, make sure it was nice and sunny. It, it was weird, but I would. And we'd have a great time. And there'd be, I mean, there was very rare. There was very few times when I actually had, when I would, when I would do that psychic like you know tentacles you know the mental tracking that I would like one time for example my buddy came up where I was in Sacramento my buddy came over I was living on a ranch in um, Alberta and he came by to pick me and we're gonna go out to the town and paint that sucker right and I and I just I mapped it and I was like no nah, I'm going out he came over he's like dude let's go and I'm like I'm staying home tonight Bubba he's like what the fuck I was like dude I was like, if I leave this house, I'm not going to be coming back. He just didn't understand what the hell I was talking about. I said, dude, if I leave this house and get in that car with you, I'm not coming back. Period. He called me the next morning. Dude, nothing happened. I'm like, yeah, bro, because I wasn't with you. But um, that's just one example. <clears throat> but, you know, a great example of who I am, without me knowing who I am, was when I was really young, like maybe 19, 20. No, I was probably. It was, I was young, and my buddy Joe and his sister were playing with the Ouija board. The only time I've ever played with one. And this thing flipped out on me. It kept it kept spelling cleric. No, no, no. Cleric, no, no. And it's like, okay. So I realized at that point there was, you know, obviously the dark did not like me. <clears throat> I mean, I don't identify with the cleric. I understand what that means. is basically a, another term for holy man. I... I choose the term shaman because I love my Cherokee roots and I, I kind of identify with that. I'm also Scottish and, and I also understand that Scottish had shamans too. They were more Celtic shamans like Merlin and stuff like that. They, they all had spiritual leaders, druids, whatever. But um, yeah, so, uh, you know, like I said, I'm just learning to really understand and control my power. And one of my abilities is kind of like um, mental projection or I guess... That was, it's kind of a good way to think of it, like staring at goats, that movie where you can basically, you know, guys would be able to look at a room and, you know, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I would do it with maps. Like when I was traveling, I was always, I would look at all these different factors, weather and, you know, you just, the basic stuff, but at the same time I would stare at maps for, you know, sometimes for hours before I plan my next move. And I would either get good vibes on a map or bad vibes as far as where to go, where to stay, and that kind of thing. And it helped me out in many situations. Like, I mean, if you look at my videos, it kind of went pretty smooth. And I was, except for one point when I was up in Colorado, and I was actually, I was in New Mexico. I went back up through Colorado, and I stayed at um, Monument Valley. And right when I got there, I kind of, I had a sense that I needed to get the hell out of there. I stayed one night. It was funny. The guy, this was my second trip to Monument Valley. And the guy was like, what, you're bringing the snow with you? Come back and bring snow with you? I was like, sorry. 
But I literally, I felt the, the change in the weather so bad before I even realized what it was. And I was like, I have to haul down to the desert. So I hauled ass. The next morning, got up early, just took a shower. And by the way, that KOA in Monument Valley is amazing. Their bathrooms were just like a five-star hotel. It was ridiculous. I, it blew me away. <clears throat> anyway, so I hauled ass for Phoenix. If anybody knows about Arizona, the, you know, Monument Valley is like right at the very tip of it's Utah. But I literally that morning hauled ass getting down to Phoenix. And it was in the middle of that ridiculous snowstorm. A big, you know, polar vortex, whatever, just covered. I mean, I literally was driving through a blizzard to get out of there. Remember, I'm leaving in my vehicle. I don't want to be stuck in snow. I ended up, of course, I ended up at the end of the day, you know, in outside of Phoenix, and it was beautiful, and it was dry, and I was warm. I was wearing, I ended up going from wearing wool jackets to a t-shirt. So that was a good move. And then you got to trust your instincts, too. And that's another thing. People talk about that all the time. They talk about, oh, trust your instincts. Go with your gut intuition, your gut instinct. That's basically using your powers. Most people just call it simple things, like don't break the vibes and stuff like that. Uh, but last night I got some downloads about, I think, where I'm going to be going. And I didn't understand it at the time. Oh, let me explain why I can't. I couldn't ex accept his offer, Scrappin's offer of the gas, because I don't know where my destiny lies. And as much as he's talked up the place, slaps it. He sounds amazing, and I'm always down to check places out. But the idea of me sitting on a, you know, in Slab City, hoping to sell my art, sounds, you know, interesting enough, and meeting people and connecting, but. I don't know if that's my path, right? I don't know if that's where my destiny lies. And I've been pretty mobile and pretty, like, I'd stay the most place, the most, the mo it's early. The most I've stayed at any place, you know, this last, was maybe hanging out with my dad for a minute. And, you know, 14 days at the Grand Canyon, that kind of thing. But I've been mobile. It's like, and it's it's been like an inner calling to, to get on the road and do things. And like I said, uh, I got, last night, I just got this inspiration, and I'm like, try to figure out, because I was trying to figure out, I'm in the desert, and that was kind of like the plan was just to come down to the desert, I have no actual place to go, so I was just going to hop around the desert, and figure it out, and, you know, play it by ear, and, but the whole time, I, it not, didn't feel right, none of it, right, I'm sitting there going, it just, you know what I mean, it's like, you got to trust your gut instincts, I'm like, you know, what's, where's my destiny lie, and, Muscle Shoals came up. I've watched that documentary before, and I loved it. And But that was before I realized it was on Cherokee native land. And that was another thing I wanted to do. One of my, my pre-bucket list things were to do was to go back and to visit my native land, my, my, you know, where my heritage is, my people are. And I thought about going to the Smoky Mountains and all that stuff. And... <clears throat> But like I said, I couldn't put the two together. I didn't. I didn't put the fact that my native land was actually Muscle Shoals. And when I found out that, that jazzed the hell out of me. I was like, yes. I mean, yeah, right. And I, like I said, I've always wanted to play a guitar, and I had a hollow bass for a minute. And that was when I got stabbed. I was. I end up. That was another interesting situation. When they say, be a good Samaritan, not everybody's Steven Seagal. And there were six of these dudes. They were robbing a guy, and they had a knife. And it was just me fighting them. And in the middle of the fight, I got stabbed in the back. And after that, I lost my apartment and pretty much all my stuff, and including the guitar. So I really didn't get to, to the feel of the guitar as much as I wanted to. And it was a beautiful sounding guitar, hollow bass. It was beautiful, very bluesy. And... That's what I was saying. And, the, and the early this morning, that's how it usually works. I'll wake up early in the morning and I'll just start thinking about stuff. And now, and I was getting jazzed. <laughs> I mean, I was just getting pumped up to go to the Muscle Shoals. And and here's the weird part. Yesterday, when I was coming back from the Chevron with my ketchup packets, <laughs> the lady was like, yeah, "Here's, my, I got some balloons." Anyway, I was getting visuals. And it's it's funny because I've I've heard of my my you know my tarot readers talking about that you know they'll get visuals and stuff like that. And I'm like oh that's nice. 
Right. But I was getting these visuals of these country roads, just beautiful days, trees, grass waving. And I was trying to picture where it was. I couldn't picture where it was. I was like, I haven't been there before. I've never seen this place. But it was this beautiful, overwhelming calming coming over me when I was when I was visualizing, when this vision was coming to my head. And I'm just walking back to my, you know, my camp. And I'm thinking, what the hell is this, right? And it, But it was at the same time, I was getting these images in my head of this just country setting. And and it was very peaceful. It's like a if you imagine just driving down a country road and it was a 80 degrees and a warm but a nice cold breeze and you know it's just quiet and you hear birds chirping and it's just a beautiful day. And that's what my vision was like. And I was like, what the hell? It's not in the desert. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out I was trying to figure that out. And then and then I kind of did some mapping around Muscle Shoals, you know, looking for BLM land and stuff like that. And there, are, yeah, there is free camping around there. And yeah, I mean, like I said, nothing. There's no perfection, but I did get. I started getting excited about it, and that's usually a good signal that I'm on the right path, and that that's because I did that when I was traveling around the West when I was going to see the buffalo. I didn't have no idea what I was doing. I didn't know where the buffalo were. You know, I didn't know. I knew there was heard somewhere i literally had no clue what i was doing i was just i knew i wanted to go check out the badlands and i knew i was going to go see crazy horse the monument but i didn't get around to that because it was like snowing at the time i'm not driving up a mountain in snow besides that's not where my destiny was it was like a perfect you know everything it was perfect timing so if i was to accept uh, scrapping money for gas to go to slab city and then all of a sudden you know, my destiny's calling me to go in the opposite freaking direction, going east, then I'd feel like a, you know, I'd feel like a thief. You know what I mean? I'd feel like it was a ill-intended, uh, you know, it wasn't honoring the, the the cause, right? That he was hoping that I would do. And so that's another reason why I can't just, you know, I could, like I said, from day to day, I don't know where I'm going, what I'm doing. And I'm feeling like I'm on the verge of moving in a second, and I'm excited about that. And, Yeah. I also have, um, yeah, I have sources I'm, I'm looking into for finances. So that's, that's something I'm excited about too. Like I said, I can't, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know how I'm getting there, but I trust the plan. I trust my destiny and, you know, I trust my powers. I trust my intuition. My intuition's strong and, and it's been very good so far. I mean, there's moments when I'm like, the car wreck was interesting because i was like it was out of the blue like i said tower moments are there for a reason Cor course corrections i was headed down to la and, and instead of going to la i ended up going to my dad's and that turned into a good thing I, he literally helped me refabricate my vehicle within days we were just sitting there talking i'm like what can we do and he's like well we're gonna need some sheet metal and he dragged out this old gutter and i was like yes and we started i started pounding that thing out and Next thing you know, he's like, you know, and he started talking shit about my tires. He's like, you going to get new tires? I'm like, Dad, I can't afford the tires right now, man. So, like, the next morning, he's like, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to get your new tires. I was like, cool. Thanks, Dad. I love you. So, it's like something positive happened. Not only that, but I was, he gave me some money to help, for helping him, you know, do some work around the house. You know, yard work and stuff, cutting down things, and which I appreciated. And that helped me get gas money to go up to see my granddaughter. And my grandson for his birthday. And that was awesome. My granddaughter's birthday is also coming up. And that's something I really would like to go see. I'd love to see her. She's like, yeah, she's my, she heals my heart every time I see her. And basically, I would like to see her within, you know, the week or so before I go to Muscle Shoals, before I go back east. Which is kind of the plan right now. I'm just, I'm, it's still infant stages. Right? I'm still trying to get the vibe, still trying to do some mountain work. But yeah, I, it, it, it's usually, and that's another thing, when I'm doing mapping and stuff, my gut tells me whether it's, it's the right. In Slab City, for some reason, I did the mapping and I was doing the doing the work and I just wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling like like where I was going to stay. You know, I just didn't feel it. And so I was, you know, and that's something I had to be concerned about. So like I said, I always trust my instinct. I appreciate everything anybody does when they do it with love and they do it compassion they want to see you succeed that's awesome i appreciate that i do and but at the same time i got to go with you know you got to trust your heart you got to trust your instincts you know 
And like I said, it's like I've, I've said, I can't take everybody with me on my journey. And I hate leaving people behind, you know, that I care about. But at the same time, you can't, everybody's got their own path to walk. Even like couples, that's the toughest part about being married, I guess, or anything like that. Because you have to combine your path. Whatever path you were on, I mean, that's what I love about, you know, destiny. And I think it's amazing when you can have a couple, you can find somebody that you can be with and you share that de destiny's path. That's pretty amazing. And it's rare, I think. Because a lot of times it's, it's, it's usually a marriage of convenience. It's always a lot of times. I hate to say that, but there's a lot of people that are with other people, not because they're madly in love and they're knocking furniture around every weekend because the passion's that hot. It's just it's financial convenience. And I knew that's something I would never, ever get stuck in. I, for a second, I was in that with my last marriage, my only marriage. And that was something, you know, I just couldn't stand and I didn't want to be a part of. It was If it wasn't true love, if I wasn't madly in love with my wife and just couldn't wait to rush home. I know that sounds kind of like, you know, pie in the sky type stuff. But, you know, if you really love yourself and believe in yourself, then that's what you're going to strive for. You're going to strive for your empress. You're going to strive for somebody that just drives you nuts in the best way. And you trust them. You know that they're not going to be fucking around on you. And you're not going to fuck around on them. And that's important. you got to, you know, it's a wish list, right? So, as I mean, I'm not saying that Slab City ain't, isn't going to happen eventually. Or I don't know. I'm just like, but I'm getting the itch to go to Muscle Shoals. And I'm also getting the itch to buy a guitar. So I'm really interested in that. And that was something I was planning on doing anyway. You know, like I said, I'm going to learn to play the guitar and throw out a can. And either they're going to pay me because I'm good or they're going to pay me to shut the hell up. And I tell you what, if somebody throws a 20 bucks in my can and tells me to stop playing, I'm going to say, you know what, I'm going to honor that. I'm going to take this 20 bucks and I'm going to go get something to eat and start chewing on something, right? And give you a break from my your ears, right? But, yeah, you know, it's just a joke. But hopefully I'll be a little bit better than that. But, yeah, I want to get the magic. I want to get the magic from Muscle Shoals. I want to go see there. I want to be there. I want to go around there. I don't know. It's just something. We'll see. I'm, like I said, this is baby steps, early stages. But last night I really started, it was like putting the pieces together. It's like Cherokee land. I love Muscle Shoals. I love that documentary. I just, the vibe was amazing. And I do want to learn how to do music. I love music. It's, you know, it's always been a part of my life. It's a child. And growing up in Santa Cruz, my parents were hippie-ish. And, you know, rock and roll, you're always getting it. You know, and I was surrounded by music all the time in the 70s. And that was just something, you know, that takes me back whenever I hear it, man. Dreamweaver, all that stuff, man. It was amazing. But, yeah. So, I might try. I mean, I still do my art. I still love doing art. And that's still something I'm, you know, that might just help me on my way, too, when I'm, I'm going south. But, like I said, I've never wanted to go south before. I've never wanted to go back east until now. And now that I do want to go, I'm excited about it. Like I said, I've been mapping out back east, and I haven't gotten any bad vibes at all. It's like... I'm just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> so we'll see what happens about that. But yeah, trust your intuition, trust your instincts. That's part of your power. I mean, some people are more tapped in. The, the more high vibration you run, the more positive you are, that kind of thing. It, it adds to your power. The more selfless you are with your power, like you're hoping for other people's happiness. That's important too. You know, If it's all about you and it's all about what you can get from others, you, it, that's just low vibration and you're not going to be very powerful as a magician so and it's going to come back in a negative like i say, if you the whatever you put out comes back to you in tenfold especially with karma if you're out there thinking that negative on people throwing shade that ain't going to be good for you in the long run so watch that okay don't do that <sighs> anyway it's early and yeah i'm gonna just, i'm gonna hop up there and start selling <laughs> i'm gonna get that going early today but yeah anyway and i trying to i was thinking about doing another video i'm not sure yet about what it's going to be about i don't know anyway this so this one's just about um you want to be appreciative of everything you get and i appreciate every offer that's out there but like i said if i can't honor the the the, the direction that somebody's you know it's like somebody buys you a ticket to go to france but you can't go to france you plan on going to scotland that's like and you change the ticket to Scotland, that's kind of not honoring their wishes. You know what I mean? So, like I said, I appreciate everything that anybody would wish to do. And what I do ask people to do, and I would love for you, you to do, is to share my videos. Because YouTube is doing some messed up stuff right now. As a matter of fact, Scrappin did a comment on Fauci and the Beagles. I can't read that one. 
which is bizarre because normally I can read my subscribers comments but I couldn't comment on it so if you understand if you don't if you're wondering why I didn't comment on that last one scrapping it's because YouTube wasn't gonna allow me to and they've done that a lot I'm actually going I will actually want to write down a bunch of the names of people that actually comment on past videos and literally write down verbatim what they their comment says because none of them make any sense like I said they're a bunch of numbers letters and hashtags I'm like so it's like yeah it's some fuckery right anyway but I love you God loves you and the universe as always is just digging your effort and your progress and they want to see you shine just as I do because we're all in this together and the and the more we vibrate high the less horrible stuff happens in the world that's kind of the idea we're keeping that balance man keeping the balance anyway I'm gonna let you go